So if you do drink too much coffee, there can be a problem. It may keep you up at night. That's no bueno. But the kid in this next video might have had some caffeine or maybe something else more sinister because what you're about to see in this baby monitor footage might have you thinking this baby is possessed. Could you imagine walking in and seeing that, Mom? No, that is that terrible. Well, first of all, I didn't. I I personally didn't think that looked possessed. I was waiting. Uh, thank goodness it didn't happen. The kid's for got him some to fall balance, over. doesn't he? That is terrifying. That is that is. I, I have to give credit to that child, though. That's some amazing balance, and I, I was so intrigued by this. We had to get in touch with the parents, and those parents are joining us. And uh, Kate and Aww. Chuck, obviously, Hi. I'm assuming you saw that footage and were as alarmed as all of us are in the studio and watching at home. What did you think when you saw that? We were pretty shocked and terrified, for sure. Um, oh. I was just very blessed that he um, didn't get hurt. Did that wake you up that time, or did you only see it after the fact? Well. We saw the video after the fact the next morning. He actually ended up falling out of his crib um, <gasps> shortly after that. I was outside of the room when it happened, but I wasn't watching the video as it occurred. I mean, Connor has crazy balance. I think does that's he, a gymnast. He's he, a future does he, Olympic does gymnast. Does he do this stuff all the time? No. <laughs> so I'm curious, obviously, after learning of his gymnastics abilities, what have you done in terms of his crib? Well, we're in his room. You can see it's it's yeah. gone. It happened one time, and and now he's in a toddler bed. Yeah. And that and that may be the takeaway. Was... You know, if a child's crawling out of the crib, make sure you have a mattress that's lower to the. Make sure it's lower to the floor. And, and I love the monitor because otherwise, how would you know? Too. It's a miracle that these things. You know, I am dating myself, but obviously there wasn't this high tech. We had baby monitors, but not the night vision, James Bond video surveillance kind. And so you would you would know it's time to drop the bed or get a, t a day bed or get rid of the crib when you woke up and there your toddler or baby was standing what? right next yeah, to you. Well, <laughs> You know, and so I said, when that happens, I will get yeah. rid of the crib. And, you know, my daughter is 16 and a half. She's still in her crib. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but but, you know, when you see them and they're standing up in the crib holding on to the rails, like... You know they're getting ready. You know, the next step is they're going to make great escape Well, there. he's adorable. We're just I'm so ready. glad that Connor's doing well. Thank you so much, Kate and Chuck, for joining us. And I do think it's important for all parents watching just to be aware of what the appropriate bed is for your child. And if you're not sure, work with your pediatrician. Just the last thing you want is to wake up to your, your oh. child having fallen out of their bed and injuring oh. themselves. Because the major concern there, it's not really broken bones, although that's a big concern. The big injury concern is a head injury in that scenario.